M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to have a go at installing the dashboard made by VA3 HDL and it looks like this. Pretty cool, eh? So let's have a go at doing it. To install it, I'm watching video by KM4ACK, thank you very much which has directed me to this GitHub and also I'm using a Raspberry Pi, so this is not on Windows, this is on my Raspberry Pi 3B, which I am viewing here on the right hand side of the screen using real VNC. I have made videos showing you how to do that, but using your IP address, you can view and control, fully control your Raspberry Pi screen using this program. So the first instructions are to go to this GitHub page and I'm using the browser that comes with Raspberry Pis and click code here and then download the zip. So we'll click the green square after we've entered this link into our search. So the link, the GitHub link is just here and that's what's in my Raspberry Pi. Go to the code and then Click the down arrow and scroll up a bit and download the zip. It says clearly here, download zip. So we're gonna click that. And it's, as soon as we click it, it starts to download here at the top. Now my Raspberry Pi 3 isn't super fast, but you can see that it's downloading it there. So now at the top here, there's a yellow file. Double click it and you want to go to downloads. So yellow file, then downloads, okay? And you get to this, this zip file here. Now remember, I know nothing about Linux. I'm just doing this step by step. So now right click on it and click extract here. Which we're doing now. There you go, we now have a new file ham dashboard main it's called so we're going to double click it and we've got all these files the important files are config.js ham-html and will zoom js and again thanks to km4 ack4 instructions so the config.js right click and then we're going to select then click text editor we get this page here and this is where we can add our call sign so i've got my call sign in and io81mi is my grid square and i'm just going to go you can go control s but i'm just going to go file and then save okay so that's in there now particular linux box and you'll see that it looks we should be able to click out of that window and start looking at the other files we're going to go over to Go to ham-html, right click, and you want it to open in a browser. So right click, um, wonder which browser we've got. Preferred browser, Firefox. I'm just gonna try one at, ran at random. I think we're, I haven't ever used this before, so. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's do Firefox, see if it opens. We can always try a different one. Now, because it's the Pi 3B, you know, it's a bit laggy. Okay, we have our dashboard. So this is interesting. So it's a window within a window. So behind I've got my Raspberry Pi. And then on the right here, you've got all these grids. You can select each item. I've not configured anything. That was interesting. My uh, Firefox did open up. But anyway, well, here we are. It's got M0FXB at the top here. IO81, we've got all these different things. Let's have a quick look um, at these tabs, see what's going on. So, well, that was really straightforward and easy. And again, thanks to, you know, the help that I've got there. Um, so let's just click one. Now remember, this hasn't been set up for my location, but, and you do have HDMI out on a Raspberry Pi. I'm just viewing this with quite low quality on my real VNC, but let's just double click one of the grids. Let's see if it populates fully, which it did. I think a Raspberry Pi 4 would probably be better, but you've got live weather there, scrolling across. I notice at the bottom here, it, does that say Pi Star? Let's click it. I'm interested to see why. It says DX Cluster Contest. Um, there's another one there. Of 
got all this satellite stuff. It's all piling in now. We've got lightning local, all the information regarding conditions. HF propagation, ISS here. Wow, yeah, impressive. So we've got it full screen now. I notice I'm sort of learning and looking here. It says Pi Star. Now when I hit Pi Star, it tries to find the the IP address of the Pi Star that's at home. So it's linking to internet and local IP addresses to, to populate some of these items. Let's click the, the, the next grid up. It says here DX cluster. We'll just click that. We've got this coming up. Okay, remember this has not been changed by me at all. This is all the stuff that was put in by VA3 HDL. We can minus and plus there by the looks of it. And plus, like so. I am going to connect it to my, I've got a monitor in this room. I'm going to connect it just to see what the quality is like. So that one there that we clicked, again, some sort of five week calendar. And the one above, club log, okay? You go into the configuration page and you decide what your grids are gonna say. So what I'm gonna do now is just switch it to my monitor and just film it with my phone and just give you an idea of what the quality is. I'll show you how you change items. So you go back to the file that's called config.js and then you right click and you go text editor. I'll do another completely separate video on this because I need to learn it myself because I've just put in um, my IP there hoping I would get my Pi Star. So you can scroll down, I found it here, Pi Star. And I did try and connect, let me move the dash from the edge. See if that fixes it. Not sure what the 1.2 is, but you've got the, within the exclamation marks, I put in the, my local IP address. It's the one that was in there, didn't work. Then you go file, save. <clears throat> and I go back to viewing by just going back to the ham dashboard, right click, and then open, where is it? We did it last time. Open with actually wrong one, ham dashboard main, then it's ham dash HTML, and then you go right click. I just click preferred browser and it used, used the one that I used last, and it opens up. And the Pi Star tab is down here, bottom left. I hit it. I'll watch another video to learn how to make that actually you know use the IP address correctly I'm sure there's a colon or a, some sort of number I've got to add for it to work but otherwise at the top here you go left go back and it'll bring you back and you remember on the main dashboard you've got tabs all around that you can set lightning radar time weather winds let's do the weather one right let's switch over to my my HD, my uh, HD monitor, and have a quick look at that. So yeah, of course the the quality is way better. HDMI. I could use my adapter and actually put this into my this stream into my actual OBS recorder and get some more images. So let's do the double click the local radar one. As you double click, you get the full screen. There is a bit of a lag, but there it is there. Then you've got this one here, National Weather Service. It's got my call sign at the top. I'm gonna to grab my Pi 5 and see if this is faster on my Pi 5. Now I know how to install it, because I got a feeling that was way faster. And you, the satellites bit by bit are loading. Then you've got the 10 meter pro propagation. Look at that. Southwest broadcast gray line ISS. Let's do the ISS one. And the tab, remember the Pi Star one? So I, I am going to learn how to do that. 
should it's the right you know now I bet you there's a way I can edit this on screen uh, see it there Pi star it does say Pi star here download but I'll, I'll work it out so we've got DX cluster here I'll also there you are like I said it's a bit slow with the Refresh there, you've got a help page here. Clover, let's go on the other side. Weather, winds, time, radar and lightning. So let's do the radar. Looks like we might have to configure that one. Uh, go back, let's do the winds. Yeah, so it basically has links, you know, there's built in links to these little, these connections. Lightning. So thanks for the help, KM4ACK and VA3HDL. And yeah, fun. Bye for now. I think we'll probably do ham clock next. M0 FXP ham tip. Welcome back to the channel. How cool is this dashboard? So I've just configured it. It's by VA3HDL. It is completely customizable. Uh, there is a, a learning curve to customizing it. You can see now that the satellites are just starting to appear behind my head. Each grid can be customized. There's even a link to your PyStar hotspot if you want to view your dashboard. And look at all the different grids. I'll just read some of the titles that you can remove if they're in the way. Radar, local radar, NOAA, DRAP, ISS. There's a satellite now behind my head as well. Let's move me over here. I'll just move myself to, where have I moved myself to? Lightning local. There's live lightning just here. Look at that. And you can click the grid. Now, so I'm not sure how well it will click now because I'm sort of, it's a bit laggy on my Raspberry Pi. It is via Linux. And don't be scared of that because there you are. That's a bit zooms in. And it's HD quality coming out of your Raspberry Pi as well. And then you just double click and it will take you back to the main grid. You choose the grid. You choose what the grids do. Yeah. There's if you go to on your Raspberry Pi into the files, there's a there's a file that you edit. Just here. Go to downloads like so. And then it's called ham dash main dashboard. And you see the config JS, you right click and you go text editor. And the install is literally download. Add your call sign, and this is the big thing that you edit. And of course, it is you know, I would say complicated is the right word, but there's there's learning, you know, there's learning like anything. Look, you can see my Pi Star one. I've tried to add it in, uh, which is the right IP address, but for some reason it's not finding it, which is quite annoying. Not really sure why. Is it because of these these comma things here? I don't know. You got one one dot seven. I mean, I don't. I've just done this, but if we just look at some of the things you can configure, there's my call sign at the top. Uh, see if I DX cluster address there. Uh, Blitz, tongue, pi star, which we saw, weather, time. So this is how, it, how it's all cleverly done with links. Satellite, going through lightning, gray line, and you can add and change. I mean, it's not, you know, I, I am, I approach everything as what I actually am, and that is a novice. I, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I just put the work in to learn it. That's that's all I am. I'm not a clever guy, but I'm willing to sit here for hours and hours and do the work without trying to blame the equipment or blame people. I just get on with it. And you've got these tabs here as well that you can look at, and you're actually viewing my Raspberry Pi. There's the tabs there on the left. We go like so, they come out, got different tabs, one DX cluster, there's your Pi Star link once it's configured correctly, that is, not by 
Well, like I said, a novice. <laughs> I have no shame in, in not being university grad, um, educated in ham radio. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3.